sports office and hanging out with uh, Kenny Thomas, former NBA player, former Lobo, in town having a golf tournament uh, for charity. And uh, man, you know, I just found out you're like, you got like a big ride that you're giving away too, huh? Oh yeah, uh, Corley. Corley's, uh, the dealership, uh, Audi and Lincoln. Uh, I actually met with him last time I was here and he wants to get involved with some of the things that I got going. And, it looks like it's going to be a, a very promising future, but at the same time, he's donating a Lincoln um, for a hole in one. On so one I, part threes. So a hole in one, so I can walk to the hole and drop the ball in. I, I thought can. about that van. Don't even go there. <laughs> <laughs> because if that's the case, I'm going to take the car van. All right. Not only is Kenny here, but Donnie Wallace, you might remember that name from PG, the PGA. Uh, Donnie's here. Thanks for coming on. Donnie. Absolutely. Absolutely. And of course, Lawrence Gilligan, right beside Donnie. He yes. and Donnie have been having a conversation while we get ready for this whole thing. Uh, talk about what you're doing in the community, the golf tournament, all this stuff, this, the things that you want to do here to establish yourself after your basketball career. Right now, it's, 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 it's mainly about Kenny Thomas Enterprises and coming back and giving to the community. Um, as you know, I was already involved um, with the Boys and Girls Club with that charity event, and it's, it's, it's a real honor to actually be a part of the Boys and Girls Club, actually the face of the state. Right. And just being able to have them a part of my golf tournament, and as you know, Donnie. Yeah, um, how did you get Donnie to come? Actually, Ken Harris, um, which is my attorney, and he's helping me in so many different ways in transitioning from um, the basketball to the court, um, brought Donnie to me, and um, Donnie decided to um, help me out. And it's, it's going to be a great relationship, hopefully, and looking forward to doing something down in the future and with more golf tournaments. And it's an honor to have him here. and. We're just gonna have a good time. We've got some more people coming, and it's gonna be great. And you're gonna be watching with a with a close eye, making sure they're playing right, right, Donnie. <laughs> I'm just trying to get the ball in a hole like everybody else, man. It's golf. You know, my 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 interest is whenever you hear a guy back in his community trying to make a difference, you can only help. You can only support. Right. I mean, and, and so I'm committed as long as long as we're gonna grow this event. I'm sure the community will see it for what it is, and. Uh, and, and again, I know I hear Kenny's passion when we talk about it. So when 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 Kenny Harris did introduce us, it was it was it was a given for me that I would be here and do what I can over the years to, to make this a successful event for the organizations that he supports here. And that's what Lawrence and I were just talking about. Yeah, Albuquerque. you know, and, and you you mentioned earlier that this is your first time in Albuquerque, Kenny. What what do you plan on on uh, showing Donnie around, huh? Uh, the <laughs> oh, oh man, I'm, I'm, I'm scared of that question already. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, uh, we actually, he went to the Grove, a new spot on Central right there, got some lunch, and we all went to the radio radio station, the Animal, this morning, and we were on the radio, and uh, the, actually the golf tournament's at Paco, so yeah, it's a nice little area, and I played it a couple of times, 27 holes. He's never been, so it's going to be yeah, nice I'm and anxious. pretty up there, I'm so yeah. that, um, I'm looking forward to it. And being uh, Albuquerque in the state of New Mexico has a lot of great golf courses here, you know, and being a guy that's familiar with the game, a guy that deals with the game, you got to be pretty excited to, to uh, get out there, I guess. No, I am. I am. It, it's, uh, as I was telling you, when I mentioned to a few people that I was coming here, mm -hmm. they ran off three courses that I, I needed to play. Mm -hmm. Now, that usually happens when I'm going to Pebble Beach. <laughs> <laughs> well, when I said I'm hitting the Albuquerque and they ran off, Paco was one of them, and two other courses. I'm like, wow, I, I hope I've got time to check it out. So. If, if Kenny doesn't fly me right out of here, I'm going to stay another day and I'll, I'll, I'll play some golf. Absolutely. we got to give him some of that green chili and, ex and, and actually enjoy the Bloom Festival. And, and, and at the same time, uh, I have the opportunity to go to the Bloom Festival tomorrow at 5 o'clock with the mayor. Great. This is the first time I've actually had the opportunity wow. to be here. I'm actually getting, I'm used to getting ready for work right now. That's right. right. But, That's right. Yeah, That's training right. camp just ended, so it's like there's yeah. games going on right now. And now it's just wholly just transitioning and doing different things and going to do that. And that's another opportunity for him to see the Bloom Festival. Absolutely. That's like eight, nine hundred thousand people. So it's going to be interesting. It's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah. Are you guys going to like collaborate on any tournaments and stuff like that? Like as far as other than this one, like, I mean, this is like the entry for you coming into this thing and maybe have something here where uh, you include, you know, like they just had the New Mexico Open this year and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Something where it's on a, a real golf tournament not not a fundraiser or nothing like that you guys thinking about I would say yes I, you know my, my thing for, for Kenny one for his success and his goal of, of plugging back into his community and you know 
congrats on his Hall of Fame induction to, to, to the... Uh, you and him Hall of Honor. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So so those are the things that you, you have to build on. Those synergies you go, you, you, you have to take them while they're there. But to your, to your question, sure, this community embraces his event. Why wouldn't you grow it and, and try to do something on the next level? And, uh, but that's about community involvement. That's about community involvement. So sure, we'll be talking about that for sure. How about a little bit of your background? I know you, uh, you played a little football back in your day, huh? Four-year starter? Yeah, I played at UL, Raging Cajuns. Old Raging Cajun here. I was the first. They had Brian Mitchell and Jake DeLone, you know, who I'm sure the Raiders have come across. Oh, <laughs> my gosh. You never know. The, I know the way, the way they've been doing. But yeah, uh, yeah. But my, my, my background is athletics, again, which is, which is why I can relate to, to, to what Kenny's doing. And, and he's going to reciprocate. Hopefully he comes down. Brian and I do a, a fundraiser as well. And uh, we invite friends because that, that's what the game is about. You know, the reason you have a foursome is because you interact with people. Yeah. So uh, we're just doing it on a different level, higher level, with, with a different goal. And that goal is to hopefully impact this community in a positive way and, and reestablish Kenny here now that he's, mm -hmm. he's, he's got the time to do it. Mm -hmm. Did you actually follow him when he was playing? Or did, or? Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was wondering. I, I didn't know how long <laughs> you asked me you know, each other. Kenny looks at me like, what? Um, to, the, to that question again this morning on, on the animal on the radio station, uh, the guys that I told either with the tour or back at home that I was coming out here to support him, they referenced New Mexico Lobo, nice. as as opposed to one guy. Now he he, he referenced your uh, your pro career, but but the other two remember you as a college player. That's impressive. It, yeah, it's 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 really thank you for that. Yeah, it's really yeah. it's really amazing because when people meet me or see me, they recognize me. The only thing they think of New Mexico. It's not even it's not even the NBA right away. It's all New Mexico local. Well, you kind of put the team on the map because it was a big deal when you when you came in and then like once again, congratulations on that UNM Hall of Honor coming Thank up you. that banquet coming up in November where you'll be inducted. Uh, you did do a lot of stuff here as far as basketball goes to to help the team get a lot of national recognition. I, so that's probably why that's like that. I would think it was a it was a unique situation for me because I had a great summer uh, right before my. Um, going into my freshman year, uh, I, Dean Smith was coming to have lunch with me. I passed all that up. It just felt really good to stay here. And at the same time, I knew it was going to be my team to right. a certain extent. Like Charles yeah. Smith was here. They just needed a big man. And Clayton Shields, and we had right. some other pieces, Royce only. But at the same time, I wanted to feel like I was trying to create my own destiny. If I, if I went to North Carolina, who knows what would have happened. Right. Um, prime example, nothing against Tama yeah. Domzowski at Duke. Yeah, you guys are coming you just, you just never know. Like, he was supposed to be that big guy. Yeah. But then all of a sudden, me and A.J. Brown, like, we went and we did our thing, and, you know what I mean? Right. So it, it, it was an honor just to be able to play here. And now you're the Especially old man. Especially 73. Now you're an old man playing golf <laughs> with Donnie Wallace over here. No. <laughs> Donnie's throwing you under the bus. He's like, old man, old man. He said it twice. I said old man. <laughs> Um, it, going 73 and 3 in the pit, it, it's really unique. Yeah. And that's why people remember that. 73 and 3, that's a big yeah. number. Everybody talks about we never made it past the Sweet Six, I mean, to the Sweet 16, but the fact that I think I went all four years and um, brought something back to Albuquerque in this community, yeah. which the community helped me, and I'm trying to give back now. So that's having guys like him come and support me is great, and God is good, and I'm trying to move forward. How frustrating is it, or, or now that you're away from the game in, in a sense, you know, uh, with the Lobos not making it to the Sweet 16, how f is it frustrating, or do you, do you look at it differently? Because when you're playing the game, it's a little bit more of a sting, and then now maybe you're older, you're more humble, you get to kind of grasp what you guys really did. It's pretty impressive. What we really, people don't, what we did, like my first couple years mm -hmm. here, we had the second longest winning streak in like, it was like 45 or something like that. And that was pretty unique. And when that happened, we didn't even know what, how to react. And then all of a sudden, everything just started happening. And then it, it, it was like our own destiny was just there. I just had fun here. And just being able to come back here, the reception that I'm getting now, is, is amazing and and the people that I have to still prove wrong that's that's fine mm -hmm. I'm just gonna smile at them and keep it moving and hopefully they change their mind you guys came in bearing gifts man your water how's that yeah. going man this this water that Kenny's uh, into now you know it's life after the NBA how is this company going it's going really really well um, it's actually in Rayleigh's right now in 160 stores uh, we're looking at starting marketing with me myself 
Um, <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> me, my, me, myself, pushing the water and um, different opportunities. Rayleigh's is gonna send out 350 emails, 350,000 emails to the people that are yeah. that they know, and it's gonna it's gonna be fun. I'm actually gonna be in stores and promoting my product and. Add more beverages is going to carry at the beginning of the year here. So then UNM campus, the hospital, right. the old one and the new one, Frontier and so many other opportunities. Well, I know you guys have stuff to do and we, we have to cut out a little early because uh, we got some things that we have to do news related. Uh, well, before we get out of here, remind everybody what's going on Friday, golf tournament and why they should go. And, and uh, I guess you guys are taking people even up till 9 o'clock at Paco. Actually, the golf tournament is at Paco okay. uh, Golf Ridge, and it starts, tea time starts at 9 o'clock. We are taking walk-ups, and at the same time, we're looking for support, and it's for the Kenny Thomas Foundation on top of other charities on top of the Boys and Girls Club. And at the same time, we're going to have a lot of different gifts from um, Bernie Butterfield that um, gave, gave me a watch. and. Um, Nota Bergay. Bernie didn't give me nothing. <laughs> 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 Top of the auction is going to be, it's, it's not going to be a silent auction, so it's all about giving back to the community okay. and the kids. So I want to actually kind of put people on the spot to actually give something back. So I'm um, looking forward to it. And there's Nota Bergay. He wanted to be here, but he gave some stuff that was signed from Tiger Woods and himself. So I have a lot of other stuff going oh, that's on. Cool. And we are taking walk-ups, and I'm looking forward to seeing people out there. Is Lawrence Gilligan playing? Yeah, I... Are you? <laughs> I wish. I'm with Lawrence it's Friday. Friday. I got we to work. Yeah, I know Friday's a big day for us. Friday, man. So, so, hey, thanks for coming in, Kenny. Donnie, thank, thank you for coming. Yeah, thank you. On behalf of Lawrence Gilligan and myself, we'll see you guys next time.